Hello everyone's everyone's. I am here for my review of The Oval Season 1 Episode 15. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, you a family member and one of my peoples, welcome back. So, we starting off where we left off last week. Barry ran ramming his car inside of Kareem's pharmacy. Now, he did not almost trip, fell, and broke his neck trying to get to Kareem. A fight team breaks out. And y'all know what these Tyler Terry fight scenes look like. So, just imagine that in y'all head. Then, Kareem pulls a gun out. Now, I, don't, I didn't get to see where Kareem pulled a gun out. I guess it was in the cash register. So, now they shooting over a gun. And I was like, okay, who going to get shot? Who going to get shot in this tussle? Because the last time there was a tussle over the gun, old dude got shot, which I still don't understand how that happened. How if the gun was pointing at a downward motion, did it shoot the man way up there? How did this gun do all that? How did the bullet do all that? I don't know. But, you know, this is Tyler Perry for you. After they done got done fussling and tussling and guns going off, very mad at Sharon. I can't believe this. After all the things I've done for you. And I was like, sir, you threatened to put her out twice. So, therefore, even though we like semantics at this time, like, you, y'all was broke up. Y'all was broke up. First of all, Sharon, you should have been doing it. Like, it was people, because if they was walking by either direction, all they had to do was slightly turn right or slightly turn left. And they seen y'all in the throes of passion on top of the dog on the pharmacy countertop. But he kicked you out of the house. He already threatened twice. And this last time it seemed like he meant it because you wasn't out here doing all you can to help his daughter. But, like, first of all, Nancy is the one that told her to go to work. Which, I be side on Nancy, too. She be making some, like, unused, like, some messed up decisions. Why are you bringing this cult leader over to the house? That was a dumb decision in the first place. And she just does not remember at all that she was the one that had the knife on the cult members. But they overtook her. She blaming all this on Barry. She, somebody got shot in their house the night before, morning before, morning, whatever it was. I just need you to go ahead and go to work, baby. You need to keep your job. She making decisions like that. And then we notice, hey, Richard is shot. So, you know, Sharon, she tried to go over there with Barry. It's like, no, no, no. She had to give him a good backhand. You know how David did Veronica on the have and the have nots? It wasn't as a dramatic as, you know, Veronica Damo's cartwheel and all that stuff. But Barry, he kind of fell back. Because, you know, Sharon's like, I ain't got time for this. Bop, get out of my way so I can help your daddy. Because he over here shooting because you over here run up here and fighting on people. So, you know. She tending to Richard. He he shot in the chest. She calling the police and she letting them know. You know it is. We just need some ambulance. We don't need nobody getting arrested over here. We just need the ambulance. Over at the White House, Hunter thinks that either Victoria or Eva Sadie, the grandma, has something to do with Mistress and he's getting killed. Like, it just so happened that evil Sadini grandma was in town taking you to lunch with the kids and Mr. Sadini is out here getting killed at our place. Like, I don't know who did it. I'm wondering. I, I Like, I don't think it was Kyle because Kyle seemed so frantic when he went in there and seen, you know, President Hunter on the floor and Mr. Sadini on the bed dead. I don't think it was them. I don't think it was me. I, I, I seriously do not know who it is. So I'm just questioning everything. Just like he questioning everything. She just wants to know. How did Mistress Denise get inside the White House? Because you need to check in and check out. In order to get into the White House. Now she just want to know how she got it. She don't even know that Mistress Denise is dead yet. But you know he not saying anything. Because he thinks she has something to do with it. But he paranoid now. So he questioned everything and everybody. Now he's talking to Donna like, hey, her parents got me elected as mayor. Didn't think it was going to happen. Got me elected as governor. Didn't think that was going to happen. They got me into the White House. I didn't think that was going to happen. And didn't think I was going to win. He's like, now they trying to take me down. He in this paranoid state at this point. I was like, I don't like these people, they evil and sedity and all that stuff, grandma and grandpa. But I don't think they would do all the efforts to get you to the White House to take you down. I don't know how that would benefit them in 
or anything, you know, getting you all the way up to the top just to be like, we did all of this because you got our daughter pregnant 20 something odd years ago. How many years ago it was? You got our daughter pregnant. We got you to the highest of the high that you can get only to bring you down. I don't, but you know, maybe, but I was like, I don't think they was going to do that. He gets the question, Donald, because Donald told him was basically you was high when Mr. Neese was killed. And he's like, are you wearing a wire? He's like, no, sir, I'm just stating the facts. You was on something when Mr. Neese got killed. I'm not saying you did it. I'm just saying it at the time it happened, you was on some type of pills. So maybe I should call the doctor. No, I don't call the doctor. He might be in on it. He might be in on it with them. I was like, it, it could be. It could be. He's like, he's even suspicious of Kyle taking care of things. Now, last week I was supposed to mention that Kyle said it's taken care of. It'll be on the news like later this evening. And even though I was supposed to be watching Ruthless, my BET Plus was acting up so I couldn't watch it. But I, I was taking outrageous thought. I was like, what if that wasn't Ruth that was dead? It was evil Mr. It was Mr. Denise. But I was like, Barry already told Mr. Denise that um, Ruth was dead. So that's not going to work. But... I want to know who was able in, to get inside the White House without being, you know, signed in to kill, get into the president's bedroom to kill Mr. Denise within a span of, I say, what, two minutes? While I go and Hunter was in there using the restroom, we came in, killed her, and slipped out, slipped out without anybody noticing. I'm trying to figure out who would be able to do that. Now, Jean is stressed out. And she don't need Kyle coming here and adding on to the stress. He coming into the dog on the little break room asking how she doing. She's like, she doing good, but she seeming jittery. Rightfully so. Like, less than an hour ago, she seen a dead body in a laundry chute. There's supposed to be somebody who tried to kill the president. It's stressful. Like, she, that's, that's something that she wants on her mind. And she don't need Kyle coming in talking about some how she can't say anything. I'm like, I remember an episode of, um unsolved mysteries somebody was robbing some type of store and like every person that walked into the store including the people who work there that's like coming to the back i'm not gonna kill you and they walked to the back and ended up getting killed one dude was like you know what i don't know nothing and i ain't seen nothing walked off and lived to tell the tale but i've been like i don't know what you're talking about i ain't seen nothing what are you talking about kyle I don't know. But then he like low key threatened her boyfriend. It's like, how your boyfriend doing? Like, he's good. Oh, okay. So we know if the bre the boyfriend come up hurt or dead, it was Kyle had something to do with. Because wasn't Kyle the one to kill Pinky and all his friends? So I wouldn't put this above Kyle. Now, Priscilla, she goes over to Richard and Nancy's house. Now, nosy neighbor is all up in the business like, hey. Priscilla, how you doing? Your girl Sam came by. I seen him. He had fun. But who those people right there? She's like, oh, okay. Can we talk alone, Nancy? You know, us alone and not nosy neighbor. We'll see you later. I was like, okay. But I got a few questions. Like, first of all, why was the gate that separates Nancy and Richard's house to nosy neighbor's house? Like, the gate separated. Like, I can go from this gate to your property. Why was that like that? Like, usually the gates separate a property. So, why is it this gate can go from my property to her property? That's just one thing. Now, for Priscilla, she didn't even know what was going on. Sam sitting this cleanup crew over here. So, another thing. Nancy over here giving all the details. Like, girl, yes. Ruth came over and kidnapped a baby. One of the raccadouches lady killed herself. Barry may have been the one that killed that man around the corner. I'm like, why are we talking out here in the open when nosy neighbor is not too far away? That just didn't seem like that was a smart thing to do because she seemed like soon as she walked away, she went to the house and she already got her women her window cracked open just like that woman of women in Brewster Place and sitting up her listening to everything that's going on. She was probably sitting there listening. Now nosy lady to come back. Girl, y'all, I just seen the news. It looked somebody done ran into the doggo pharmacy with Sharon working. And it looked just like Rich's car. Because when I was on my DVR watching it, I paused. And I got to the TV and I was like, that show is Rich's car. Because that did right there happen when the boy crossed the street who was driving. 
back then too it sure was i remember that bump it happened last tuesday the boy was just learning how to drive and his daddy told him not to turn too much and he turned too much and hit rich's car that's the night right there because i went over there and told rich about it so she didn't tell y'all that she might as well because she knew exactly when rich's car it was rich's car but i'm like Unless you knew it was a scene to license plate and you know license, uh, Richard's license plate like that. How you know it was, It looked like Richard's truck so therefore we got to run down there. I'm surprised that got nosy neighbor didn't hop in the car with them. Now Sam has to check Cal about how he was all up in Max's wife's business and everywhere she go. Because he Max sitting there just trying to eat his lunch in peace. He, that's, he on break eating his lunch. He ain't trying to hear or listen to any of Kyle's foolishness. But Kyle want to come with the foolishness because that's what Kyle does. He's like, oh, you eating your lunch. Oh, your wife made that? Yeah, she's still going to the gym on 4th Street? Oh, yeah. Or is she still going to the grocery store on Harrison Boulevard? Like, he know where she go to the gym at, where she working, where she go her grocery shopping at, what her favorite Starbucks is, like, everything. Where she go to get her nails done, to get her eyebrows done, her best girlfriend's house. And I was looking at him like, I'm actually looking like, really, were you spying on my wife right now? But Sam comes in and checks Kyle like, bruh. What are you doing? You you waiting for that man to kill you. He's like, he, he don't have the guts. He's like, you don't know. Like, basically, I could kill you. You come and be like that. He's like, what, are you stalking that woman? No, I ain't stalking her. I just went through his file. Like, that don't make it any better because you're not supposed to be doing that either. So, you just looking into that man's file, reading up on where his wife goes. It's like, what was in his file when he got this job where his wife works at, where she goes to the grocery store, like, all these things. I'm like, really? This is what this is what we this is what we doing, Kyle. Child, I came with Kyle. Speaking of Kyle, Donald confronts him about the pictures. Did you tell my wife about us? Did you show her those pictures? And it's like, no, I didn't tell her about us, and I didn't show her no pictures. I have some pictures of us because and, and videos because when we first started hooking up. I ain't believe you. So I was recording us in case you was trying to set me up. But then I fell in love. And I stopped recording us. But I still have them because I used to sit and think about how your smooth skin felt up, up, up against my skin. I wanted you to still love me. Please still love me. I will forgive you for everything you done. And then they get the kiss. And I'm like, first of all, we in the White House where there's cameras everywhere. If y'all supposed to be not gay... Y'all not supposed to be kissing out here in the public where there's cameras everywhere. Now, Kyle, if you try not trying not to, if you're trying not to get fired, this isn't the way to go. Because if Max sees this, he gonna go to whoever he can be like, see, he's gay. He need to get better. Here, even though I don't think that's the reason where you should get fired. But like, this is the reason why Donald had to marry Lily in the first place so he can get this job. So I don't think that would be stupid if he's be out here in the public kissing. Anyways, the way the storyline is going. Now y'all buried and got arrested. Now I'm just going to say this. This family can't win for losing like my grandma used to say. Like Barry, Barry just left the dog over the police station. I'm going to say maybe an hour and a half ago. Now he getting arrested again because he got a warrant out for his arrest and for shooting his daddy. It's like y'all can't win for losing. At first, the grandbaby didn't got kidnapped by the Rakadusha and the crazy mama. Then this tussle with this it up makes it the man in the neighborhood getting shot. Barry being the number one suspect and Ruth getting killed. He then beat up on Kareem. Then came back to beat up on Kareem. Ran into the pharmacy and shot his daddy. Child, it's just a lot going on. If I left anything out, by means, leave a comment below. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. It's free all day, every day, free 99. Make sure your notifications are on. So, my beautiful face, put to a video. You can click on it. You can like it. You can share it with your people. And you can come over and be one of my peoples. If you already a family member and one of my peoples, welcome back. Y'all know what to do. Tell your people to tell their people to come over and be one of my peoples by clicking that icon above. Uh, this is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.